Welcome back to Ill Blur Matic. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Return subscribers, thank you so much for returning to the channel and supporting new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. Let's get it, yo. So let's get right into it. So today's new video is going to be on Daredevil. What I know so far about Daredevil Season 4. So this is like a video kind of giving you like an update of what's coming for the show before it gets a release and what I know so far about it. So let's get right into it. So Daredevil season four. So Daredevil season four, uh, pretty much, you know, a lot of people are wondering since it's under the Disney branch now and no longer the Netflix branch, uh, you know what I'm saying? I should say company, uh, what's to happen for the show rating. So we know that, um, on Netflix, it was pretty like a violent, crazy, violent type of show with a lot of action and all that stuff. So the good news is my man's, my man's Charlie Cox let Marvel know and Disney know that in order for him to return to play this character for the series, that they needed to do one thing. One. <laughs> and what was that one thing? Let me just tell you right now. Let me tell you right now. Let me tell you. Uh, pretty much, it has to be PG-13. I'm not even mad about it. That's what the man wanted. You know what I'm saying? You, you get what you asked for, right? So it seems like they, you know, listened to what he had to say. And they're, they're going to do it. I, I'm, I'm good with it. I'm just like, yo, this is great when an actor can kind of Tell the company, like, look, this is what I want from y'all. This is how I want the show to be. Thumbs up for me. I'm like, yo, <laughs> okay. So that's the first piece of information. So that's number one. Number two. Number two um, is a little interesting because, like I said, um, a lot of us wondering, is the original cast from the Netflix Daredevil is returning? Yes and no. So reason why I say yes and no because some actors were not mentioned that I found some research on. So let's get right into it. So the first person that has by far been my favorite kingpin on everything, okay? On everything is uh, Vincent D'Arfarno. He is returning. Like, yes! Oh my God. Like this dude is like incredible. I love how he plays kingpin. I'm just like... He may, uh, you know, the other actor couldn't compare. I'm not going to lie. The one that played in the movie version of Daredevil couldn't compare. Uh, and I'm just glad to see, because he's he's been in Hawkeye. Um, he, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if he's in, like, freaking Spider-Man 4. I wouldn't be surprised. But he's a, he's a really good actor coming back to play that iconic villain of Daredevil. So I'm all for that. Now, the next actor that's returning... <laughs> it's literally uh, Deborah Ann that plays Karen, uh, love interest of Matt Murdock, and also someone working for his law firm. So it's good to see that Deborah Ann is going to be returning. I really liked her character in Daredevil. She makes a really interesting, uh, you know, character in the series for uh, that. So I'm glad that she's returning for this series. Um, you know, now the actor that we don't know about that's returning, and you know, it's like Raggy. Why? Why do we know? <laughs> Let me stop. Um, is Nelson. Nelson is the character that was best known to play Froggy, Matt's right-hand best friend um, slash buddy that, that opened the law firm together. So it's still uncertain if he's going to return. And I'm just like, man, I hope they can get him to come back. Like, he really did a good job playing his best friend slash, you know what I'm saying, a uh, person that worked for his law firm. Um, and like I said, it's still to be announced. Hopefully he returns. Um, if not, I'm pretty sure they'll get him replaced. Now, the next piece of information, number three, number three, number three literally is, is this going to be a continuation series or a full reboot? So, um, you know, it's still uncertain, you know what I'm saying? If it's going to be a full on, full on reboot. I really hope not, you know what I'm saying? Because I really liked how Daredevil Season 3 really ended. And I'm just like, yo, 
finish up. Let season four be like a continuation of what happened to Matt Murdock in season three. And we call it a day so it can be a continuation series. But if it's a reboot, I'm okay with that too. I'm not going to lie. Um, Sometimes maybe a show does need a reboot. So if it's a reboot, I'm open to it. I'm not like, oh man, I don't want no reboot. Get that out of here. Get that out of here. No, I'm, I'm good. I, I Like I said, I'm okay with the reboot. I'm not against it. I think... Um, it'll be interesting to see what they do, do if it, they make it a reboot for uh, Daredevil um, instead of a continuation of the Netflix series that was, like I said, a popular series on freaking Netflix, y'all. <laughs> um, the next thing I would like to say is pretty much uh, the show has a new executive producer and a new writer. So... Um, you know, I don't know too much about the two, uh, individuals, so I'm just going to speak to you briefly on it. Very interesting. Um, I was surprised that they did not pick up the executive producer from the Netflix series and also the writer. Um, I guess with the writer, and I, I could talk to you about that a little bit because I did do a video on the writer a little bit. Uh, there is a situation, I guess the writer wasn't really comfortable with something that was controversial about Daredevil. Um, and the writer just wasn't about coming back for the actual series. So it's like, well, there are other writers out there that can make some good writing for a TV show. So it's not like, oh my God, he's the only one. It's cool. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with a new executive producer for the show. Um, I just hope that this show does really well. I mean, I mean, he, Charlie Cox got what he wanted. He wanted a PG-13 Daredevil series. We getting that. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> um, but I hope it works out for him. I can't wait to see what they do with the show. But you guys tell me in the comments, what was the most uh, interesting piece of information that you took from this video on Daredevil season four coming to Disney Plus? It's amazing to see this, man. <laughs> I've been waiting. I said, yo, man, we, we got to get a Daredevil season four. I just hope it's not, like I said, the other thing that I talked about in my video. But until next time, guys, have a great freaking Wednesday. Thanks for the support. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. Until next time, have a great one, guys. The saga continues. Oh, yeah. Thank you for support.